We are still in the midst of an unfolding crisis. The pandemic is still raging across the world without any clear end in sight. Globally, more than 25 million people have been infected and an estimated 860,000 people have died in just eight months. To support economies and jobs that have been devastated, governments around the world have committed trillions of dollars and debt levels are at record highs. <clears throat> Our government's immediate focus is to navigate Singapore through this pandemic and the serious economic downturn because of the very significant risk to our people's lives and livelihoods. The government has committed $100 billion in the last six months, drawing on our reserves to cushion the economic and social impact of COVID-19 on our people. Two weeks ago, DPM Heng further extended support to firms and workers. And this week, we heard Minister Tan Si Ling and MOS Gan Xiao Huang share how tripartite partners are helping workers to retain their jobs or find new ones. But members have also rightly emphasised the need to think longer term and position ourselves for a strong recovery. We cannot simply hunker down and wait for things to get better. Instead, we must prepare ourselves now so that we can capture new opportunities when they come. We are not starting from scratch, but are building on strong pillars and steady improvements over the years. In the last 10 years, we have invested heavily in early childhood and continuing adult education, enhanced our healthcare and social service architecture, implemented industry transformation maps to strengthen different economic sectors, and these fundamentals stand us in good stead to navigate the winds of change now confronting us. Let me just share one sector and how it's dealing with its present circumstances while seeking to keep an eye on the future. COVID-19 has dealt the construction sector a very heavy blow. Due to clusters in the dormitories and work sites, companies have had to put projects on hold for months. Even after workers were cleared, it has not been easy to restart. Many changes were needed to ensure that workers were safe, and despite significant government support, many construction firms and workers continue to suffer badly. But this experience has also strengthened our resolve collectively to transform the construction sector when the situation stabilises. We have to drive digitalisation and adopt more advanced building technologies to enhance productivity. And through this transformation, try to attract more Singaporeans to join this sector. It will require the collective efforts of firms, workers and the government. This crisis is neither a pause nor a rewind for Singapore. Instead, if we face this with the right spirit, we can turn this to a fast forward. Reimagine new industries and markets for Singapore, learn new skills and discover new careers for ourselves and our children. And even as we deal with present challenges, we must prepare ourselves for the longer term. We must keep our resolve and look forward to emerging as a stronger society. <clears throat>